Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm a 58 year old grandma from Gateshead and I do YouTube videos about things I really like, so favourites, which I'm about to do today. Um, I also do videos, uh, hauls that I do from Home Bargains, b and um, I do a few videos about what I sell on my eBay store. Um, basically anything that takes me fancy uh, that I'm up to. So today I've got, well I've got two things for you. I've got my um, October favourites uh, video. So I've got 10 things that I really liked in October that I'm going to share with you. And I also have a really good giveaway for you. So stick around to the end um, and I'll tell you what the giveaway is. So I'm going to kick off with books. I've got a couple of books that I really enjoyed um, last month. The first one was Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Um, and I read this for a book club, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. Uh, I'm just going to read you the blurb on it rather than trying to tell you what it was about. It says, For years, rumours of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barclay Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. But Kaya is not what they say. Sensitive and intelligent, she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home, finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand. Then the time comes when she yearns to be touched and loved. When two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty, Kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens. Now, I must say, I have heard about this um, book before. I'd heard about it last year and I never fancied it. That's what the, the book cover looks like. And like I say, to be honest, the title of it and the picture on the book put us off. And then when I read the, the blurb about the marsh, it, it, it didn't really grab us. Um, so when uh, I joined this book club and this was the book I was going to read, I'm thinking, mm, is it going to be any good? Am I going to like it? But I was, I was hooked from the first few pages. I think I read it in two days. I thought it was really, really good. I thought the writing was good. I thought the characters was, was were good. There was a few things in it I found a little bit implausible. So if you've read it, do you agree? Um, but it was a really good read. It was something to, you know, it was a decent sized book. So it was something to really get your teeth into. It, it's, a, it's a bit of a mystery. You know, somebody's dead. You need to know how he died and who killed him, if anybody did. Um, so I highly recommend that. Really enjoyed it. And the second book I read was um, The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Again, I'd heard of this for quite a while and never bought it, but then I saw it in a charity shop for a pound, so I thought, I'll pick it up and I'll read it. Um, again, I'll read you the blurb. I can find a blurb. Uh, yeah, in a peaceful retirement village, four unlikely friends meet up once a week to investigate unsolved murders. But when a brutal killing takes place on their very doorstep, The Thursday Murder Club find themselves in the middle of their first live case. Elizabeth, Joyce, Ibrahim and Ron might be pushing 80, but they still have a few tricks up their sleeves. Can our unorthodox but brilliant gang catch the killer before it's too late? I really enjoyed this book. Um, I want to actually live in this retirement village now. I don't want to wait until I retire. I want to live there now. It sounds really good. Uh, I don't know whether there are such things in this country, but it did sound good. The group of um, characters are really well written. Um, they're funny. The, the whole book is like, you know, it's about a murder. So it, I suppose it's not supposed to be funny, but it it's funny. It's heartwarming. It's very sad, um, you know, because they're living in a retirement home. I don't want to say you're coming to the end of your life, but, you know, you're coming to the end of your life. Um, people have dementia, people have illnesses, so there are sad parts in it, but it's, it's re it is it is funny, it's a really good read, it's a page turner, um, they've got a, he's got a second book out, I think it's with the same characters, I think it's called The Man Who Died Twice, if I'm right, so I'm really looking forward to read that, reading that one as well, so highly recommend that one. So those are my two books, next I'll do some TV. Um, I haven't really watched that much uh, in October. 
haven't really done very much in October, to be honest. Um, but the first thing I watched was the IT crowd. Now, yes, I know this has been around for quite a while, but I've only just getting around to watching it. It's a comedy uh, series. It's on Netflix. They're just like 20, 25 minute episodes. Um, and it's Chris O'Dowd, Richard Ayoade and Catherine Parkinson are these three employees in the IT department of this big company. Um, Catherine plays their boss. She knows nothing about IT. And the two guys who are the IT guys are probably what you expect of an IT department geeky kind of characters. But it is, it's so stupid. Um, it's so stupid, it's funny. Uh, and it's one of those series that, you know, if you're just looking for something, 20 minutes to watch while, you know, you, you're waiting for something else, um, then I found this really good. The Chris O'Dowd's character, he answers the phone in nearly every episode and says, the, before he even says hello, it's like, have you turned it off and turned it on again every time as though, you know, that is the answer to all computer problems. And really it is, isn't it? Um, but it is stupid, you know, some of the storylines are really daft. But you get a good laugh from it um, and it cheers you up. So I recommend that. It's worth watching and it's on Netflix at the moment. I think there's about five series of it. The other thing I've been uh, watching is on Now TV and it's a series called Departure. I watched the first series and it is about a, an aeroplane that vanishes over the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and the Transport Safety and Investi Bu Investigations Bureau step in to investigate and it follows the main character who is Kendra Malley who, who is the lead investigator it follows her and her team as they investigate what happened to this aeroplane and you find out that um, one passenger survives out of the whole um, you know the whole flight of passengers I couldn't think of the word I was looking for there um, it's quite slow to start with I found the first episode really good then the second episode was a little bit slow as you kind of got into you know the different characters yeah, there is only six episodes in the series but once i'd watched the the second episode i kind of binge watched the last four because i just i needed to know what happened and it did keep me attention so i did find that quite good and the ending was quite satisfying um there is a second series and i've just started watching that it's the same uh lead character Kendra and she is investigating a train crash um, again it's a little bit slow to start uh, but it's it's picking up from the you know the second third episode so again that's another six episodes and they're about 45 minutes each and I did read that they'd actually there was going to be a third series as well so I highly recommend watching that if you're kind of like a mystery kind of thing and an investigative type of drama um, but that's that's quite good Next, I wanted to mention a YouTube channel, um, and it's called the da Your Daily Dose of the Internet. I think it's just actually called Daily Dose of the Internet, but when he when he started, he always says, this is your daily dose of the internet. And basically, they're two, minute, two to three minute um, videos in uh, clips that he's kind of curated, the best clips he's cu curated from around the internet um, for that day. So you get maybe like five or six really small clips of videos from from news stories to, you know, stupid cats to um, couriers pinching parcels off doorsteps. It's just quite, it's quite fun to watch if you're just looking for something that's two minutes. You want to know what's going on on the internet that day, then he's got you the best stuff. My son got me into this. Um, Simon watches it all the time and he says, Mum, why don't you watch this? So I started watching it and we got hooked on it. So now every time we've got like a, you know, a couple of minutes or five minutes, uh, maybe on a morning or something, we'll say, oh, put Daily Dose of the Internet on, we'll see what's going on. Uh, it's not like major news stories. It's just weird. You know, you might say like a, a weird sea creature or something like that it's just quite fun and interesting to watch and it's quick so you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it so i do highly recommend daily dose of the internet i've got a couple of random things now i haven't really bought very much in october uh it wasn't conscious i just haven't really bought a lot so a lot of the things that i'm showing you i've had for a while but I've just started to use them more or I've taken more uh, notice of them during October. 
uh, and one of them is I think I showed this in one of my other videos well the, the tea tree it is a tea tree um, I bought the tea tree from TK Maxx and a, tr a tea tree seems to be quite an American idea that you dress it up for the different seasons the different holidays um, and then you just stand it in some way that you can look at and I've got mine on the middle of my dining table and it just really cheers me up every time I look at it this was an autumn one kind of an autumn Halloween -y theme um, so you can see it's got me little black witch cat in there um, it's got some pumpkins in there see on the bottom it's got me black um, little fake plant cat in there uh, more pumpkins some leaves so I kind of just dressed it up with things that I had around the house um, this was a pumpkin I bought from B&M that was a horrible orange colour and actually painted it white with chalk paint and used a gold paint pen to colour it in. I was quite impressed with my efforts. <laughs> uh, I just went around the house and picked things out that I thought were quite cute and, you know, nice to look at and I put them in there. I uh, got some little orange things that I took out of some potpourri that I had. So that, that's really cheered me up every time I've looked at it. I've got a little little flower in there that I usually have somewhere else in the house. And the actual tea tree, it's metal, cost me £10 from TK Maxx, which I thought was quite good. It is black and I, I might actually um, spray paint it copper, because I'm not sure I like the black that much. Um, but anyway, that's by the by. So I'm going to change it up for Christmas uh, and put some Christmassy stuff in there so I can continue to enjoy it on my dining table. But I just, I really love that. Just put it down quite heavy as well um the other thing is a photo that i will put in here well it's not a photo i've took a photo because i'm not it, it's some flowers and i'm not going to bring the the, the, uh, the pot to it's too big uh, so i'll put a, a picture in here um to show you and these are um the artificial flowers obviously that i bought from dunelm i don't go to dunelm very often we have a retail world quite close to a and Dunelm's down there and it's relatively new down there and I don't go in often um, but I did go in this day and I found these uh, artificial flowers the orange ones which I thought were quite unusual and the yellow spray I just thought the colours were so so pretty and I've got them on my stairs and um, we've got a staircase that kind of goes up then turns a corner and goes up again um, and I've got it like on the on the bit where it turns a corner so the, the first landing, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And it just, it cheers us up every time I look at it. The colours are just so pretty. You know, and there's just there's just something, it can be anything, you know, a, a flower or a, a tea tree. It just makes you smile when you see it, so it's worth having. And the flowers are actually not that expensive. I think the yellow ones were £4 and the orange ones were £3 a, a spray. Um, so I thought that was really reasonable for artificial flowers. I was quite surprised. I was expecting them to be more expensive so yeah those flowers um i've really enjoyed last month next we've got some makeup um the first thing is uh this i love revolution pink grapefruit what do you call it fix and spray for your face so makeup fix and spray yeah and it's pink grapefruit scent um and when you put your makeup on you just spray your face with it and it sets the makeup and I have to say this really works I love the smell of it as well pink grapefruit and it does work my makeup stays on my face as long as I need it to you know usually I put it on maybe eight o'clock in the morning uh, and I take it off at nine o'clock at night and it does last I really really impressed with that I think this was I want to say three pound it definitely I don't think it was more than a fiver but it's from revolution um, pink grapefruit Makeup fix and spray, really recommend it. Another makeup product, well, it's a beauty product. This is the Body Shop Vitamin A Overnight Serum in Oil. I've had this before. Um, I ran out a few months ago, so I, I didn't have any for a while. And then I was in the Body Shop a couple of weeks ago, so I picked some up. Uh, and I forgot how much I really enjoy using this. It's it's a, it is an oil. I use it on a night time after I've um, cleaned my face. It's like got a dropper in there. I don't think it has got a scent. Yeah, there is a bit of a scent in there. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, could be rose. Could be rose. <laughs> um, but I highly recommend this. It just, I put it on, on my face after um, 
cleansing it. Uh, I don't usually put moisturiser on the top of that. I usually just use this and my skin just feels so soft in the morning. Really, really love this. Like I said, I'd forgotten how much I loved it, so I picked some more up. That's I think that's £16 a bottle, but it is highly worth, worth the money. Definitely love that. Next is something my daughter bought us, um, Nicola bought us for Christmas, Christmas Gone. And again, another product I forgot I had, uh, and I've just started using it again. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury... Um, I'm just checking my notes. Pillow Talk Lip Secrets she bought is the pack, which had the lipstick, it had a lip liner, it also had a lip, uh, a collagen lip bath, which is like a lip gloss that you paint onto your lips, um, and it's supposed to plump and um, s soften them. It, it doesn't really plump them. It's got a pepperminty taste to it, so I think that's supposed to give you the plumpness, but it doesn't really do that, but it is quite nice. And there's also a, um, a dual lip gloss in there, which is really nice as well. But what I'm really enjoying in, uh, what I've really enjoyed in October is the um, the lip liner, uh, which is, I'm actually wearing it today, the lip liner and the lipstick. So here's the lip liner, goes on really smoothly. It's a nice color. And this is a matte lipstick, which is unusual for me because I, I don't usually like matte lipsticks. But this one, it looks quite dark, but I don't think it goes on your lips as dark as it looks. Uh, it, it goes on really smoothly. It's nice and creamy. Like I say, it is matte. And it's got a lovely vanilla -y smell, which reminds me of chocolate. It is really nice. Um, and I just love it. Really like that. I've been really enjoying that. So both of those I've been really enjoying in October. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more expensive, um, then I highly recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Secrets Pack. Very nice. And the last thing that I'm um, going to talk about, which is actually the, it will lead on to the giveaway, is a online um, club called the Joy Club. Now this is a club that brings online events and classes and deals for, now it says for people who are semi-retired or retired, but really when when you you know you get into it it is really for probably people over 50 who have got more time on their hands you know maybe you even work from home it is definitely for older people so that's why i say over 50 people who've got more time on their hands who are semi retired or retired and they want some things to do during the day this has got some really good stuff on it i've already taken part in three of the classes i did a cardio workout class which is, it, all of the classes are over Zoom. So, you, you know, you get to see your instructor, you can talk to the instructor. Um, it, it's very interactive. I've also done the, um, the creative writing class, which is, which was a one hour, 30 minute class. The cardio was an hour, no, sorry, 45 minutes. The creative writing class was an hour and a half. Uh, and you, the instructor, instructor, teacher, Grace, lovely lady. Again, over Zoom, so you can see the other uh, participants in the, in the class, you can talk to them. She takes you through a specific creative writing topic, um, shows you different examples of this, this writing, and then you get half an hour to do your own bit of writing, and when you come back, you, you've got the option to read your piece of writing out if you want to. There's no pressure if you don't want to. I think there was five people in the class when I took part and we all read our pieces of writing out. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be a new career for me, creative writing, I don't think. But I highly enjoyed the class. I would definitely do it again. Uh, so that was an hour and a half. And you get ten minutes, if you join the class ten minutes beforehand, you get a chance to just have a little bit of a chat with, you know, the people who are going to be doing it and with the, the teacher. I, I really liked that aspect of it. I also did the book club with the Joy Club, the Joy Club's book club. Um, this is where I read Where the Crawdads Sing. Now, this was the first one, the first book club last month. So there was only me, another lady, um two other ladies in, in a, the, the, the leader of the book club, which who is uh, one of the team members from the Joy Club, so kind of took, take, 
takes you through some questions about the book but we didn't I think because it was such a small class we didn't actually feel we needed the questions we just had a nice old natter about the book and what we thought about it and that was highly enjoyable and what I really like about the the joy club is when you work from home or I would imagine you know when you're retired in you're in the home a lot especially over the at the moment you know when you're we're not going out as much um it's really good to be able to take a break and have a chance to interact with other people it's not like when you just watch a you know a video on some of these things like um skillshare or something like that where it's not interactive and you can't talk to the people this is on zoom so you, you're interacting with you know human beings you're interacting with people you can talk to people and it was so nice to be able to you know, kind of socialize in the middle of the day because I, I do working on my own I do get quite lonely um it can be really isolating so I love that aspect of it it's got an events board and there's something on every day of the week not Saturdays and Sundays yet there may be in future now usually between nine and five it's got a whole host of events you know there's lots of there's exercise ones like cardio they've got Pilates they've got Tai Chi they've got Zumba and it's for all different levels so don't worry if you you know you're not feeling very fit I'm certainly not very fit and I, I highly enjoyed it um they've got things like I'm just going to grab my other notebook uh, they've got coming up they've got skincare with Chris where she's you know talking about your everyday skincare um basics why and how you should use them with a step-by-step -step tutorial there's a, a class on inner strength um there's a one on uh, making Christmas ornaments there's a one on nutrition and your heart health there's loads of different types of classes I really love the variety of the classes I'm actually going to be doing one later this morning on how to write your own memoir um which you know really interesting stuff on there that even had one I think it's on today as well um the benefits of swearing with Dr Richard Stevens on why swearing is good for you it's just really interesting stuff they've also just started an eight week um Spanish language course so if anybody was to join now you may be too late to get into that one but i'm sure they'll run things like that again there's even one on how to tell captivating stories with your smartphone which i've also signed up for even though i do youtube videos i may get some tips from that just su such interesting stuff and they've got a deal section where members get you know access to deals for different things so at the moment they've got one um, 50 percent off luxury jewelry from philip jones uh, they've got 22% off men's health and grooming products. This isn't just for women, it's for men as well. It's just so much on there. They've also got a, a blog section um, where members can uh, write blog posts or they get experts to write blog posts. Just so much stuff. They've also got a Facebook group that you can join um, once you remember and you know, interact with other people that way. The Joy Club is only... You get if you sign up, you get a, a thirty day free trial, so you can try all you know. You can try the classes and everything free for thirty days, and then if you like it, it is only five pound a month to join this. Only five pound a month. I I just think it is such brilliant value, and even if you're just stuck with the free membership, if you wanted to join a class, it's only going to cost you five pound for each class that you, you do. So that's quite reasonable. But five pound a month for access to all of that, I think is just brilliant. I really do. So my giveaway today is a six month membership to the Joy Club. Like I said, if you're, you know, in your 50s, you work from home, you're semi retired or you're retired. Um, this is definitely something that would make a, a a good present for yourself or if you know someone who's like that it would make a really good gift for them so if you do want to enter the uh, giveaway to win six months free membership to the joy club and i will put a link to the joy club down below so you can go and have a look at it it will be an affiliate link so if you did sign up to the joy club um, i will get a small commission from it but if you do want to enter the giveaway to win it then just comment below uh, you know under this video and say why you would like to win it or who you would like to win it for just comment and say why you you know why you're entering the giveaway that would be really great 
Uh, the competition will run for two weeks. So it is the, I think it's the 19th of November today. So two weeks from there will be the 26th. I think that will end on the 3rd of December, but I will put the details below and I will draw the winner randomly from the comments um, under my YouTube video. I hope that all makes sense. So that's all I've got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed my favourites. Was there anything there you particularly liked? Uh, was there anything there you've tried and you didn't like? I would like to hear your opinions on the two books or the, um, the TV programmes that I've mentioned. That would be fun. Um, and like I say, if you want to enter with a giveaway, comment below. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again really soon. So bye for now.